In a significant escalation of electronic warfare capabilities, Chinese scientists have introduced a cutting-edge system based on 6G communications that merges jamming and data transmission within the same high-frequency band. This breakthrough allows simultaneous disruption and communication without needing to switch frequencies, a first in the global arms race, as revealed in mid-June 2025 by Chinese state-aligned media and peer-reviewed journals. At the heart of this technology lies a photonic system that processes jamming and transmission in a single channel using microwave optics. Instead of separating radar disruption from communications, the platform merges them, enabling it to engage in full duplex communication with over 300 connected units while flooding enemy radar with more than 3,600 spoofed signals in real time. This technique precisely targets the X-band frequency range, used by the N-APG-85 radar mounted on America's premier stealth jet, the F-35 Lightning II. What makes this system uniquely formidable is its use of optical fibers and a dual-polarization IQ modulator to clone and delay intercepted radar signals by up to 600 microseconds. These clones are realistic enough to mislead even advanced tracking software, generating convincing ghost targets that mirror authentic radar returns. By overlapping the very same frequencies that adversaries use, the system sidesteps traditional radar defenses that rely on frequency agility or signal separation. The project, backed by nearly 72 million yuan, approximate 10 million US dollars, has already transitioned into early industrial trials. The design emphasizes a hybrid photonic electronic approach, slashing the need for conventional radio frequency components. This not only streamlines the hardware but also boosts signal resolution and operational bandwidth while cutting power consumption and minimizing signal contamination from other electronics. The implications for Western aircraft are profound. The F-35s and slash APG-85 radar, despite incorporating pulse compression, stealthy waveforms, and next-gen scanning tech, is still bound to the electromagnetic domain now compromised by China's 6G system. The rapid, coordinated injection of fake radar echoes could overload the aircraft's threat recognition algorithms and obscure real-time situational awareness during combat. Even more concerning is the software architecture of the F-35 itself. Built on millions of lines of code, the fighter's entire tactical decision-making depends on reliable sensor input fused from radar, infrared, and electronic warfare systems. Should its radar data be consistently tainted by deceptive signals that bypass filtering, the aircraft might produce false threat maps, corrupted targeting cues, or delays in critical engagements. Although defenses exist, they were not crafted to repel photon-based, frequency-matched jamming conducted in parallel with communication signals. Furthermore, the F-35 software rigidity adds another layer of risk. Except for Israel's custom F-35I variant, most operators depend on centralized U.S.-controlled software labs to distribute updates, mission files, and encryption keys. That means frontline pilots have limited authority to recalibrate systems or adapt radar logic in response to new jamming tactics. In a high-conflict environment, such dependence could lead to real-time vulnerabilities if enemy spoofing begins to manipulate sensor inputs faster than updates can be rolled out. According to Chinese sources, the new system also features a compact, multifunctional design that reduces equipment footprint while boosting adaptability across mobile and fixed platforms. A signal configuration devised by Professor Deng's team enables the integration of sensing, jamming, spoofing, and communications into one unified stream, operating in the millimeter wave band with an optical core. This multifunctionality opens doors to deployments in drones, ground vehicles, or potentially even airborne platforms. The timing of this development also coincides with China surpassing the United States in filed patents related to 6G technology, highlighting Beijing's strategic intent not just in the defense sector but in the global race for technological supremacy. The deployment of such a system could mark a paradigm shift from brute force disruption towards surgical, spectrum-level control of the electromagnetic battlefield. If brought into contested zones, this photonic jamming platform could undermine the tactical coherence of even the most advanced Western platforms, interfering with encrypted comms, falsifying radar imagery, and destabilizing digital decision-making frameworks. 
To counter this, Western forces may need to urgently integrate sovereign control of software, increase onboard AI-driven threat recognition, and enhance radar signal resilience against full-duplex, photonic attacks. In short, China's new electronic warfare architecture signals a move beyond traditional jamming into a new era of precision spectral manipulation, where stealth, software, and signal integrity may no longer guarantee dominance in the skies.